Item Number SCP-963 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-963-1 is to be given into the care of a current D-level operator, as well as personnel classified by Dr. Bright's assistant. This assistant is to be chosen by O5 for loyalty to the Foundation, as well as psychological stability. SCP-963-1 is now hung by a chain from the subject's neck. SCP-963-1 is about to be hidden upon the subject's body, and the attempt to do so will be met with lethal force. By order of O5, any body SCP-963-1 is stolen upon is given a state of execution until it passes on natural causes, or 963-1 is transferred to another post. SCP-963-1 is an ornate angle of approximately 15 centimeters in circumference made from white gold with 13 K brilliant cut diamonds surrounding the K oval cut ruby in the starburst pattern. It was discovered in the personal effects of who had been found dead by apparent suicide surrounded by a number of supernaturally related books. Our agent in the area found that 963-1 was incapable of being damaged and brought it in according to protocol xlr ar Dr. Jack Bright, a junior staff researcher of good standing, was assigned the responsibility of researching SCP-963-1's capabilities and was granted access to Later that year, SCP-076-2 broke containment, leading to deaths and casualties. Dr. Bright was transporting SCP-963-1 by hand past SCP-076-2's containment unit and was among the first killed in breach. Approximately days later, D-1-113, tasked to clear the area of rubble, discovered 963-1 among the wreckage and picked it up. An immediate noticeable change came over. Interview log X date. Could you tell me your name? It's Jack Bright. You know well it is. I believe you are Tom Hickley. Working for us is supposed to be your life sentence. Don't be ridiculous. I couldn't possibly be. SCP 963 1 is removed at this time from D 1 113's possession. A further MRI shows that they cease all brain functions. 963-1 is returned, upon which brain function returns. Dr. Bright? What? We appear to have a problem. After much experimentation, it has been discovered that when any living article comes into this direct skin contact with SCP-963-1, the mind of the subject is white, and that of Dr. Bright is projected from 963-1 onto the subject. It is known that memories native to Dr. Bright transfer, transfer from host to host. If the subject maintains contact for 30 days, the brain functions become a duplicate of the late Dr. Bright's. If 963-1 is removed after this time period, the subject retains independent copy of the consciousness of Jack Bright. Sanctions were put in place to prevent multiple instances of Dr. Bright from being created to prevent Dr. Bright from collaborating with himself. However, it was found that this was not necessary, as Dr. Bright has proven thoroughly de dedicated to the Foundation and its cause. Dr. Bright himself has performed extensive experimentation on SCP-963-1, with the express desire to relief for release from it. Interviews with Dr. Bright indicate that killed himself in the process of empowering SCP-963-1 and was therefore never able to slay his own consciousness to the end of it. Dr. Bright hypothesizes that he accidentally activated the alien's power by being killed instead of killing himself as the original creator had done. On orders were given by O5 to attempt to replicate SCP-963-1. All attempts were met with subsequent failure until SCP-963-2, which point 